Hello everyone, it's your boy Corn, and welcome back to another video on the channel. It's really good to see y'all, and I hope y'all having a good day. It's another Coffee with Corn, man. Oh, we've been really getting these Coffee with Corns out. What you mean? What you mean, man? I hope you, I hope you be enjoying the Coffee with Corns. The Coffee with Corns is just a really good time to wind down. Not a lot of editing, just enjoying a really cool conversation. And uh, or you can also start a conversation what I'm talking about in the comments as well. It's it's a really great series. Uh, nah. <laughs> it's a really uh, great series, and I really like uh, I really like doing it. And this time it's going to be a little bit different. We are not going to be talking about Kingdom Hearts, but we are going to be talking about a game called 12 Minutes. 12 Minutes is like a new game that recently came out that has interested me. Um, I did stream it on, on my Twitch for a little bit, for about two days. Um, I enjoyed the game, and it actually really inspired me to really talk about it. And I, I thought I thought like this would be an interesting topic to talk about, uh, not only with myself, but with my friends as well. So what I thought of uh, is doing a podcast because me and my friends uh, have a podcast channel that we do together called The Cancel Cast. And we haven't really been consistent on it, but uh, we talked about it recently and we uh, wanted to get back on to uh, doing it. And so we did a podcast on the game. So in this video, in this Coffee of Corn, when I, as I'm editing in this editing this <laughs> and what you're about to see is basically a mix of me talking uh post the podcast and also me editing uh different um sections of the podcast within this within this video y'all will see what i'm talking about <laughs> but if you would like uh to see the full podcast go over to the cancel cast channel and turn on notifications because i don't know if it's uh going to be out by the time that i bring this video to you all so you can go ahead and subscribe to the cancel cast uh podcast channel or you know you can follow me on twitter and uh and i'll let you all know when the episode is out so this game that we're talking about is is called 12 minutes this uh type of game is a real-time strategy adventure game um that's has a point click uh mechanic so basically you can't uh if you're playing on a keyboard I i'm pretty sure you can play on ps4 i'm not quite sure but um yeah so i played on the pc you can't use um the wsd or nothing like that it's just point click point click only that's all you can do that's how you can move your character and that's how you can uh explore your environment and um be in contact with it so basically the concept of the premise of this game uh you could say is solving the mystery of this time loop that's basically what what it is and the time loop is uh something that triggers whenever you die whenever uh you get beat up or you run out of time which is which is 12 minutes this is a this is a real time strategy game mind you so if you can't solve the mystery in 12 minutes the the whole game loops the whole game loops it doesn't it, it's not you coming uh <laughs> going back to the elevator you just uh loop uh to when you enter the room and the character is just 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 freaking out and you're just like wow this is pretty interesting so far at least that's what I thought. But within the midst of uh, you trying to figure out the mystery of the time loop, you also figure out that there is this cop uh, that's actually trying to kill you and your wife over this watch. And you figure out the reason later. In addition, the cop um, blames the wife for the death of his friend, which is also the wife's father right so you have that conflict on top of trying to figure out the mystery of this time loop and like why is this going on and then as the player you do figure out that's um that's what you need to do you need to figure out the mystery of this time loop you need to figure out this watch you need to figure out this and that and the third it's a whole it's, it's a bunch of stuff it's a bunch of stuff so let's talk about the gameplay uh, a little bit more in depth Okay, so uh, when it comes to the gameplay, we're we're just gonna I'm just gonna briefly explain the uh, the mechanics in which will help you solve the mystery. Oops, sorry about that. Alarm. Um, so basically, as I said before, it's like a point click thing. So you get you get to interact with your world. You can pick up different items. You can also mix items. 
Well, you can only mix one item, okay? Uh, you kind of limited to certain things that you can do, but I did find it pretty cool and interesting that you could do little things like, say like if I wanted to pick up a candle or pick up a knife and I could just, you know, flush it down the toilet for some reason. Or if I go to a vent, you know, I just, I can use the knife or the key to unlock it put something in there you know it this game has a lot of very minuscule um type of things that makes the game increases its longevity because mind you this game is about about six hours it, it takes about six hours to complete and you would and you would think that it wouldn't take that long right you wouldn't think it wouldn't take hours to complete this game because you're on the the setting is just within one place it's just within that tiny little apartment with the uh with the living room a closet a bathroom and the bedroom but yeah uh you can put these items in your inventory do certain things to the i <laughs> with these items say like you wanted to take the knife and for some reason if you want to go that route you could kill them you could kill the wife to figure out certain information <laughs> you know about about uh, about this a very important watch or or um, this murder or you can uh, mix the uh, water with the with the sleeping pills to drug the wife and then um, she'll go to sleep then the cop will come by you can like hide in the closet or something like that he'll go in the room he'll switch the light and the circle will go off like because the light has like a circuit problem and so when he uh, flips it or when he switches it He'll just go unconscious. And then when it comes to the time loop within this game, uh, how this time loop helps you solve this mystery, right? Um, do like each loop or every time you loop, you only really got one chance to figure out one thing. You th that's that's it. You go. You, you only got one chance to figure out one thing really to uh, have yourself progress through the game. But even as you progress through the game, it seems like you're still going backwards because you're just like, okay, this didn't work, why? And you're trying to get different pieces of dialogue too as well because when you figure out new information or, or you figure out where the watch is, new dialogue pops up and I thought that was pretty cool too. Um, like the dialogue is just, when you go through this game, you realize it's just super inconsistent. Cause like you, you have to literally click through the same type of dialogue session, sections that you already clicked to get new ones. And you're just like, what? I didn't know I can like, like, well, you would think like, okay, I already did this there's no point of doing this again but nah you gotta do it again you find out new information you gotta click that dialogue again and it just becomes such a weird and tedious task but yeah that's it for the gameplay section now let's talk about the most interesting stuff like the ending so let's talk about these endings bro because i'm excited about this part <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 this is a story of incest and love. And you just, <laughs> your wife, your wife, your no, girlfriend have your yes, baby. Sir. It's not yes. And you want to know something else? You want to know something else? Mm, your wife, possible. your wife named the baby after your mama. Baby. After, your, after your dead mama. Oh, your dead mama. I know she was dead. Yeah. Your dead mama. Who your dad hates and who your mom, who, you, who your stepmom hate too. Oh my yeah, gosh. yeah, that yeah, was yeah, so yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> the incest, the incest. It's like, cause okay, it is like it's just being all the stuff. Like um, in this game, there's three canon, three canon endings, and I think around eight to twelve random like endings you can get throughout the story. Like oh, one of them you. is super, one of them is super random. Like um, there's the one where you kill your wife and you frame her as a suicide with a dude yeah there's one where you make basically you do some like spoiler stuff to make the cop not try to kill y'all mm -hmm. and you start dancing with your wife and instead of him knocking on the door to talk to you he goes home so but yeah. the thing is though you have to sit there for 12 minutes dancing with your wife you know what i mean mm. as, as, a, as a player that's kind of lame yeah i don't sit there for 12 minutes in real time i got something, I got something to do i got two jobs dog you know what i mean <laughs> but um but there's a couple other endings too where it's like just 
simple stuff like that can cause the ending. Yeah. So you can call those like more like joke Easter egg endings. But yeah, the main one, of course, is where you know you figure out the meaning behind the watch. Yeah. And what what's actually going on. The second ending is once you get that revelation, you get you you're forced to make a decision. Mm-hmm. And then the third ending is you make a third decision, even though the option didn't exist at first, basically. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. Now I will talk about one of the endings though, because this this mm-hmm. ending made no sense to me whatsoever. Oh yeah, it's wait, like, hold up, hold up. Before you get into that, just real quick. So those endings I'm already mentioned. Some of those endings are kind of like unique endings, y'all. So basically, like the game really doesn't end, but it's more mm-hmm. so like it's more like they're unique. They're unique time loops. Uh, one of the time loops is like uh, do your father apparently, who mm-hmm. sounds exactly like the uh, cop. I don't know if y'all know that. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. There's a reason for that. There's a yeah. reason for that. Uh, mm-hmm. he was uh, it's like forget, forget your no no not forget, but it's like uh, basically abandon your wife, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And it's like that's cool, that's cool. So tell me why your main character goes back to his apartment and nothing is in the apartment at all, nothing, mm-hmm. yeah, bare minimum. Sam's, I mean, no, no, Sam's apartment, Sam's level apartment. Where I mean, I can, I, I can explain. No, 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 no. I'm thinking this. I, I know you're mad, though. In a, a realist kind of uh, mindset, like, why yeah. would you Why would you not have any basic appliances? No toilet, no kitchen sink, yeah. no nothing. Yeah. You don't yeah. got a uh, light either. But I don't know what's that. You got to think. This, Go this ahead, is the ahead. same dude that knows the chick was his sister. Yes. And she uh, didn't hey. know that, and she didn't know that, that that he was her brother. And he still tried to beat. And exactly. he still wanted to marry her. And imagine you imagine like your son pulling up to you saying, Hey yo dad, you know, I know she my half sister and all. But can I beat though? Can can I get your permission to beat? You know what I mean? Like can, can you give me you give me your blessing to marry her? Like, no. It's so you know bad. But 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 Omri, so Omri, oh, 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 if you go home to literally nothing. Why do you even have an apartment then? Well, I'm gonna tell you how we get up to the ending, right? So once you uh, figure out everything, you figure out you're the brother, you the, you figure out you're the one that killed the father and all that, and that um, your mother is the nanny, which the husband, um, which is the wife's dad, right? Uh, the wife's dad had an affair with the nanny right and the nanny had a child and that's how your main character was born but the main uh but the main character was basically neglected since birth you know because like the father was a pretty trashy dude and didn't want um him to be in his daughter's life and plus uh, the reason why he didn't want to be in his daughter's life is because he liked his daughter a little bit too much right so that's basically how you really uh get to that point and then when you realize all that stuff and you just wake up because the time loop is not really a time loop it's, ba- it's basically just a mental thing it's a basically a mental uh, simulation of your character's mind that's basically really really is it's not really a time loop it's just your character going over and over and again trying to have this happy ending for himself and all that within his mind He's just weird. He's just a weirdo. Really, that's really what it is. It's not really a time loop. It's no really no magic or anything like that. But the stimuli of this mental uh, simulation, all that, or what really started it is just uh, the father, um, like kind of like hypnotizing him or something like that, or telling him to think about a certain thing. You know how hypnotists do their thing. There's not really much to talk about when it comes to this game depth. Um, it's really not as deep as you would think it to be and that's really the most disappointing part because when i was playing this i played this on stream for two days i got frustrated on the first day uh well i didn't really get as much frustrated on the first day because i was really enjoying it second day i got more frustrated and then i woke up in the morning to play it hoping to get a really satisfying ending with all my hard work and i didn't really get anything after all those trials and tribulations of trying to solve the mystery going through all this tedious gameplay just to figure out you on some incest stuff and there is no satisfying ending at all and that the time loop has nothing to do with no magic stuff 
it's trash. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. I still, even though I didn't like the ending and all that, overall, I think the game was pretty okay. I thought the game was pretty cool, right? Because I've never played a game like this, and I still thought it was interesting. I like the game. Finish the game. I feel like whenever I finish a video game, whenever mm. I finish a video game, I went through this stress. I went through all this pain. Give me an ending to where, like, Yo, I'm satisfied. I like this, you know. You know, like, give me something satisfying. Mm -hmm. What would you rate this game? Out of ten. Out of ten. Mm -hmm. Uh. Hmm. I'll give it like two ratings. The first half of the game, uh, <laughs> six out of ten. The second half of the game, I'll give it uh, two out of ten. So yeah, three out of ten then. That's it. <laughs> but because it's like it's not it's not <laughs> worth it. It's not worth it because that yeah. ending, that ending of that game mm -hmm. was bad, and that final half of that game is you listening to a long like corn, bro. I yeah. had to do that dialogue where you pull out the baby clothes. Mm -hmm. I had to do that twice because I pulled it out to ask him after he oh. mentioned the name, and he went to leave instead of listening to me. It was stupid. Uh, Overall, I didn't like this game at all. Like, yeah. there's other better games. Omri says the games. I said the game. You know, Corn. I don't know if you said the game, but you said some games, you know. Mm -hmm. But overall, I give this game like a five. five. That's me, me being nice. Okay. And that was that you really being nice. nice. God. That, that, that is mighty nice. I said three. You Jesus know? Christ. Like, but yeah, that's all I have for you. Remember that you can tune in on the Cancel Cast uh, YouTube channel. Um, I can send, I'll can send. i send out a, a tweet. You can follow me on Twitter. I'll, I'll send out a tweet uh, when it's ready or they will. It, 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 it all depends. Thank you so much for watching this video and joining me and to talk about uh, this game. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Uh, I like doing the coffee with corn, sitting down and talking. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. But yeah, if y'all made it to end, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully it's Kingdom Hearts or probably another horror gameplay. Uh, we gonna see. Thank you for tuning in, bruh. And remember, nobody can defeat you but yourself. Alright, i see you guys later. <laughs> w video. W video.